Welcome to Lessons in RxJS, Mastering the Operators. My name is Hudson Baker, and I'm a Senior Enterprise Software Engineer at Rebug. Let's talk about the RxJS operator, SwitchMap. SwitchMap is a common operator you will see that is most beneficial for switching a value from one observable into a stream from another observable. The most common use is the ability to combine values from the outer and inner observable and map them together. The switch map operator performs its operations on the stream from an outer observable, properly termed the source observable. When the source observable emits a value, switch map will subscribe to an inner observable and expose the outer value in the same context as the inner values, allowing them to be combined or otherwise mapped together. When the source emits another value, switch map will unsubscribe from its previous inner observable and subscribe to another inner observable at that point in time. If the inner observable completes, SwitchMap will clean up its subscription and prepare the next value from the outer observable. NGRX effects are probably one of the most common use cases where lots of observable manipulation occur and API calls are made. API calls will often need the results mapped into a new observable action. SwitchMap will operate on cold observables, such as HTTP calls made by HTTP client. Since SwitchMap will subscribe to the inner observables, that ensures that cold observables start and perform their intended behavior, such as calling an API. In this NGRX effect, I want to dispatch an action based on whether the service succeeded or failed. I'm going to use SwitchMap to transform the results from the service call to either a success action or a failure action. It is important to note that here, it is unsubscribing from the inner observable on each value from the source observable, and then resubscribing to the same kind of inner observable because the source stream of actions will always remain the same. This allows us to encapsulate reactive logic on the inner observable stream and map a new observable action to the outer stream effectively handling a process inside of switch map, yielding a new observable action to the stream as a result. In this example, I'm mocking a user typing their username into an input box. I want to validate the name with a service call, but I don't want the old results that come from when the user first starts typing. If I want to grab the latest results and ignore the previous ones, I can use switch map to map each new key press into a new API call, effectively canceling the previous one. That way, when the user is done typing, I get the most recent result for if the name they entered is valid or not. Here, switch map is unsubscribing and then subscribing to a new inner observable. In this case, HTTP client is usually responsible for canceling the actual previous HTTP request. After the final request, the inner observable completes and RxJS cleans up the internal references. As always, make sure you are using the right tool for the right scenario. Switch map should not be used when you need to guarantee multiple API requests definitely complete. This is because of switch map's nature of abandoning prior inner subscriptions in favor of new ones whenever the source emits. Information that needs to be saved to a database could be lost if the stream representing that data is unsubscribed from, resulting in only some of the data actually being written to the database. This could also be an issue if you are trying to send a message, log data, or send multiple API calls for different pieces of information. One thing to watch out for when using switch map is to remember that any operators after the switch map call in the same pipe chain are only operating on the most recent stream. That is the stream that comes out of switch map. Any operators after switch map are only operating on the most recent stream. For this reason, in effects, handle the error at the specific stream you are accounting for. I hope these examples clear up some of the common misconceptions with how switch map works under the hood and help you improve the management of your reactive streams. Please make sure to check out some of the other lessons in RxJS, and I'll see you in the next video.